Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. You know what they say about March, in like a lion, out like a lamb. Well, that old weather proverb is certainly coming true this month with a roaring jet stream bringing frequent areas of low pressure our way. And that will continue over the next 10 days. Bouts of wind and rain. And forget about the warmth of last week. It will be colder at times as well. Typical early March weather, in other words. Now that cold air, not quite as cold as the air over North America at the moment. That bitterly cold air plunges into the Atlantic and it meets warm seas where the temperature contrast then fuels a very powerful jet stream. That wind circulation many thousands of feet above the Atlantic acts as a weather maker spawning bouts of wind and rain. These areas of low pressure queuing up to come in to the British Isles over the next week and a bit. One area of low pressure with us as we end Wednesday and go into Thursday. That came in on Tuesday night with some heavy rain, but it's still with us on Thursday, just moving into the North Sea and wrapped around it areas of rain, particularly for northern parts of England, Wales, into the Midlands, and then later on parts of eastern England. Showers elsewhere, a lot of cloud cover, and a strong wind, that wind making it feel cold. Gales for exposed coasts, especially down this North Sea coast. So it's going to be a cold day, certainly in comparison to recent days. Six degrees in the north, 10 degrees just about on the south coast. We do say goodbye to that, though, on Thursday night. And then a ridge of high pressure builds in for Thursday night. A space spacing in the isobars opens out, and that means a widespread frost to start off the day on Friday for many places. A bright start as well. But it doesn't last long. More wind and rain knocking on the door, soon pushing into western areas by lunchtime and then spreading across all parts by the end of Friday. Now, temperatures are fairly academic given all the wind and rain, but nine degrees out to the west, 11 to the southeast. That zips through quite quickly as well on Friday night. And then more areas of low pressure lined up to come in for the weekend, courtesy of that energetic jet stream. And these areas of low pressure will simply bring a windy weekend with areas of rain. Could see some wet weather for a time across southern parts of Britain as we start off Saturday, but Saturday essentially is a windy day. Risk of gales for northern and western areas, and there'll be further showers coming through after any more persistent rain moves along. So an unpleasant day on Saturday. Winds could be disruptive in places as well, and it's going to feel cold. Six degrees in the north, 12 in the south as well. But uh, into Sunday, well, there's more uncertainty in particular because of this area of low pressure. Barely a ripple in the isobars on Saturday. And of course, this is Wednesday this is recorded. So we're looking ahead to Saturday and Sunday. And uh, this area of low pressure is likely to be picked up by the jet stream. But exactly how it interacts with the jet stream will make a big difference in terms of its path and its depth. Almost as if you were blowing on a spinning top and if you get it just right, you can speed up that spinning top and send it in a certain direction. Well, that's what's happening with the jet stream and this area of low pressure through the weekend. And so it looks likely that it will spin up and it will be sent towards the British Isles. But exactly where it will end up is open to doubt at the moment. Suffice to say that Sunday looks like another very windy day. And again, the risk of disruption from those winds, risk of gales for northern and western Britain in particular, but windy for many areas. Areas of rain moving through as well, and where those outbreaks of rain bump into colder air, particularly for Scotland, the risk of some hill snow, particularly later on. So this weekend, it stays unsettled. It's certainly going to be windy on Saturday and Sunday, and there is that risk of gales and disruptive winds. We will firm up on the details over the next few days, so important if you've got plans this weekend to stay up to date with the forecast. There'll also be areas of rain and hill snow. There'll be some gaps in between the wet weather. There'll be some brighter interludes, but the winds are the key feature through this weekend. It will also turn colder at the end of the weekend. You can see the jet stream then diving to the south of the UK. Colder colours then arriving across the country. And like I say, the chance that we'll see some hill snow in the north or even snow to lower levels for northern Scotland and a frost in places as we start off next week. But the jet stream remains a key player through next week. It's still there out in the Atlantic, still spawning those areas of low pressure and sending them our way. After we say goodbye to the weekend's areas of low pressure. This one comes along for the middle of next week, bringing with it more 
outbreaks of wind and rain. So the unsettled weather continues into next week. The temperatures will be up and down, I suspect, not too far from average, perhaps going up a little bit as this area of low pressure comes in. And then blues following on behind it to give uh, more showers, but also colder air by the end of next week. So over the next seven to ten days, it will often be windy, courtesy of that energetic jet stream. There'll be rain, there'll be showers, there'll be brighter spells, and there'll also be some colder interludes. Typical early March weather, in like a lion. I guess we'll have to wait and see if we go out like a lamb. Bye-bye.